really poorly in this sector. We can make it. Hello friends and welcome to one of the most haunted places in all of Michigan, the Pear Cheney Cemetery. The lost town of Pear Cheney is located about a quarter mile to my northwest. We'll go visit that as well. But I wanted to start here as a good spot to explain what happened to the town of Pear Cheney. There's only 90 graves in this cemetery. But at one time, Pear Cheney had 1,500 residents. The town was officially established in 1874 as a result of the logging industry, which this used to be the biggest logging part of the United States here in northern Michigan. Well, back in the late 1800s, it was booming, and a lot of people came to this part of the state for that reason. Now, these people only lived there for a couple of years before a sickness took over. It's not really clear what the sickness is or was. Uh, a lot of people believe it was dip diphtheria, I think it's the name, or how you pronounce it. But those 1,500 people dwindled down very fast. Many of those residents that fell ill were buried here, but not all of them. 1893 was the year of the first plague that hit the town, which killed a lot of the residents. And then five years later, in 1897, Another plague hit the town and killed nearly everyone in the town except for 25 people. And it wasn't until the early 1900s that the last 18 people that lived here finally left the area because there's nothing going on out here. There is nothing going on in this part of Michigan. As you can see probably from the drive-in, there's a lot of dirt roads and we're, we're at least 30 minutes from any major roadway. So we're, we're far out here. But to think of only 90 people being buried in the cemetery out of 1,500 people that died very quickly, it makes you wonder, where are all those people buried? See a couple markers like this that were possibly left over from grave markers that have been vandalized over the years. There are certainly not 90 gravestones out here. I don't see that many. I, I count maybe, could get an exact count, but I'm, I'm guessing there's about 30 total that you can see. This headstone's very intact from 1898. Infant son of Lafayette and Sarah Merrill. Cool name. When asking around the locals, some haunted places around, everyone says, Pear Cheney. Uh, seems like a very well-known place and apparently this is kind of one of those places where the high school students come out and you know get rowdy and try to get themselves creeped out. And unfortunately it's led to some vandalism and things but it's also led to some very spooky stories like a lot of spooky stories. When you look up Pear Cheney online I'll put a couple links there's there's a lot of information out there a lot of the stories involve handprints being left on the car, the car not starting, uh, which a lot of times you might contribute that to, uh, you know, being a high school kid and having a crappy car that just doesn't start sometimes. But whatever the reason, there's some weird stories that, that happen out here. Some include the sightings of a logger that will appear and chase you around. <laughs> and hope that doesn't happen and some other some other really creepy things right behind my car there is a railroad track and apparently you can hear the railroad at weird times the, the trains at weird times you can hear screaming from the woods nearby hmm this is a really interesting headstone i've never seen one red like this you can barely see the writing etched into the pink concrete there. One weird thing that has been said to happen out here is if you go to a grave that's a man's grave, the particular man, it didn't say which one, but there is a man's grave here, that if you stand by it, it will protect you from any of the weird things that happen out here.
1868-1939. It's a very pleasant cemetery. I don't find it to be frightening in the least bit. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Do you see how the moss has grown into the letters? So you can read what it says just because the moss has grown in it. That's weird. I'm gonna take a guess that somebody's buried right there as well. I've seen a lot of these circular concrete post holders with pennies and change on them throughout the whole cemetery. There's a lot. This is not a great marker, but it is a historical marker talking about the origin of Pear Cheney. On the back of this monument is the names of all the families that were buried here. It's 50 family names. One thing I will also mention about this cemetery that is very interesting and spooky to some is it is well known to be the cemetery where a witch is buried. And whether you believe that or not, some say that it's true, most say it is not true. This is known as the cemetery where a witch was buried. She was a, a mother in the town and then they, they got her out of town somehow and she put a curse on the town and now she's, she's buried here. Supposedly the witch is buried underneath the tree that she was hung from and they caught her. But all of those stories have been proven false. So it, it's a good story. Friends, it's time to leave the cemetery and check out the town. It's a very nice place. I, I did not experience anything creepy or weird here. There was no sign of any lumberjacks running out of the woods. Uh, no screaming. I didn't hear a train. Nothing. It's just a very nice place. Does it pay your respects to those pioneers gone before us? But first, I should inspect the car for handprints. I don't see anything. Nope. Just to give you an idea, this is the road out, and it's, it's just really sandy, which is weird, but it's very sandy. Pondesi's getting a workout today. Loving it. The cemetery is just down this road, and I've parked here right next to the railroad track to explore where the town of Pear Cheney was. It's right here. I'll show you a map. Pear Cheney is located about three hours to the north of Detroit, two and a half hours from the Upper Peninsula. Here you can see a map closer up of Pear Cheney, and here's an old street map that you can see where some of the buildings used to be. Decided to walk down the railroad track just a little ways to check out where the uh, railroad stuff there on the map is. And I found this. Cool. Looks like it was hit by a, a gun a couple times. It says the home for the section foreman was right over here. Mm hmm. Pretty big indention here. Let's see, something was something was going on. The rumor of Pear Cheney is that nothing grows out here. It's just moss. That's not true. There's a lot of moss, but no more than I've seen in any other hikes around the area since I've been here a couple of days. It looks like the woods. Now, this was where the town was from about, I'm guessing about 300 or 400 yards that way and a little bit further this way. It's a fence post. Tracks. 
see some major indentions back here. Looks as if something was here. Uh, okay, there's a huge hole in the ground. What is going on? Well, it appears someone is taken it upon themselves to do an architectural dig and they have unveiled some things from the ground and left them here. Uh, that is from a dispensary but this pottery looks like it was dug right up out of the ground here. It's like a, a shoe, the heel of a shoe. Hmm. Some other pieces left in the, the grass here. That looks pretty new. Yes. But this is definitely weathered glass from the ground. All around this property is these indentions. As you can kind of see back here in the, in the background. I'm now just walking through the woods and checking out some pathways here that I find. And you can see these pretty often, these valleys. So to, so to speak. It's, it's not really creepy out here. It is sombering to think about 1,500 people in a small town with a church and a, a school and you know, farmers and friends, and they all just died so quickly. And you would just assume that they're buried right around here somewhere. And this is known as I said, one of the most haunted places in Michigan, and if not the most haunted place in Michigan. I don't feel any kind of weirdness out here, though. Whew. <laughs> Except for that butterfly scared the crap out of me. People do believe that where these indentions are was where a cellar was for one of the structures. So it would make sense a little bit to to dig around here, maybe with a metal detector, but I've, I've never seen anyone dig a hole like that before. This is one of those areas that people speak of that's just covered in moss, unusually. This is a lot of moss, I will say. On a little further investigation on the map I had discovered that just back here we passed it but as a part of the woods back here is where one of the two sawmills stood. It's heavily indented in here. There's a, a belly in the ground and I'm assuming that this would be where the sawmill is. It's very close to it on the map. Definitely where a cellar was and has been it's pretty dusty. No handprints yet. Thanks for joining me today, friends, at the lost town of Pear Cheney, Michigan. This has been a somber adventure, I would say. Walking through the old town streets there, you can't really tell what what's where, but still just walking around and thinking about the town members is uh, is sombering. You know, it's uh, the thing that we have a cure for these days, these diseases that plagued our, our ancestors, our pioneers that went before us in these small towns all around America and Europe and the rest of the world. You know. Friends, I really appreciate your company, especially at a spooky place like this. It's always good to have a friend with you. Thanks for watching, friends. I'll see you in the next video. By the way, the car started right up. <laughs>